In the past couple of days on the More Plates, More Dates subreddit, you will find a cross post from the Nootropics Depot subreddit. Nootropics Depot is a supplement company. They do not sell tricastrone, and it seems it's because of the content of this post. This post contains comprehensive lab testing of the most known tricastrone products on the market and some other things. It's an extremely long post, um, but I'll give you the parts that are important. Reading the full post is worthwhile. I recommend trying to read through at least the tricastrone part. It's like a few paragraphs, but I'll give you um, what I can comprehend. So TLDR, according to in-house testing done by Nootropics Depot, none of the tricastrone products on the market contain the amount of tricastrone that they advertise. And personally, I don't think Greg, Derek, or even the smaller companies only selling on Amazon uh, purposely did this especially Derek and Greg being the faces of their own companies. They have a lot to lose if they purposely scam their customers, right? At at the very least, I'm sure they'd want to sell what is on their label and then just continue to promote tricastrone strictly through anecdotal evidence or just personal beliefs. This thread, Derek actually personally provided uh, several responses, just like a ton of comments, and he's provided test results from a third-party testing company, which I think they do that before they sell any of their products or any of like batches of their products. Greg has also talked about how all of his supplements from HTLT have to be tested before being sold to prove what is in them. So I don't doubt that there is some sort of testing to be done to prove legitimacy. Uh, just eyeballing it. Uh, I don't know. There's like some badges on on the Turk Builder bottle. You might need to get some testing done to get some of these badges. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know how supplement manufacturing works. Oh, these guys also have the same um, badges, so I don't know. (laughs) So anyway, I'm going to go through some things in the post, and I'll try to explain them the way that I've understood them. First, they include some controlled results for ectosteroids. They include results for two controlled tricastrone samples and one controlled beta ectosterone sample. These results tell us exactly what tricastrone and beta ectosterone look like on the test that they've done. Uh, Then they use these to compare to their testing of gorilla mine tricastrone. The test spits out a result that is really confusing. There is some tricastrone, as you can see, but there is like a bigger result on the graph and that's beta ectosterone. And this isn't like a tricasterone beta ectosterone product. It's just tricasterone with some cyclodextrin in it. So if if anything, this test should only spit out tricasterone uh, and maybe some like traces of, of ectosterone, which I'll go over why in a, in a second. And then maybe some cyclodextrin. I don't know if cyclodextrin would show up on this kind of testing. It is just so weird. There's more beta ectosterone in the tricasterone products, and there is tricasterone. And reading further on this test, it is shown that there's only 0.44 milligrams of tricasterone in it, while there's supposed to be, I think, 50 milligrams, assuming that it's 500 milligrams of a 10% standardized tricasterone. Maybe it's half tricasterone extract and half cyclodextrin, which would make it 250 milligrams of a 10% standardized extract, which would be 25 milligrams of tricasterone. There's only 0.44 milligrams of tricasterone in this, apparently, according to this test, and that doesn't get close to 50 milligrams or even 25 milligrams of tricasterone being in the pill. Furthermore, there is only 5.34 milligrams of beta ectosterone in this. Uh, Further in the post, it is explained that the testing method normally used in the supplement industry is a poor method for this type of plant extract because it is unable to properly test some plant extracts. And that is what tricasterone and beta ectosterone are. And as you can see, in this case, the widely used testing method likely confuses beta ectosterone and tricasterone because they're so similar to each other. So when these samples are tested, it may spit out a result showing it has tricasterone in it, Um, but it's possible it may actually just be a mix of some tricasterone and beta ectosterone as filler. Then the post also has uh, results for HTLT Trick Builder, 
which show results similar to the gorilla mine tricasterone, um, with the majority of the product being beta ectosterone and a little bit of tricasterone. This post assumes that HTLT and gorilla mine may be using the same tricasterone supplier, uh, and then like you know brought into a different manufacturing facility to produce uh, Turk Builder with the stuff that it has, and then gorilla mine tricasterone with the cyclodextrin complex. Uh, something even more interesting are these two like smaller brands you can find on Amazon. They have the results for Swole AF and Doublewood Tricasterone. Both of these came back with almost identical results, uh, possibly because they use the same supplier for their Tricasterone. Um, however, these tests spit out um, results showing that there's actually no Tricasterone in these Tricasterone products at all. And these Tricasterone products are supposed to be just 500 milligrams of a 10% standardized tricasterone extract uh, just in a pill, right? And um, these results show that there's actually only 50 milligrams of beta ectosterone in each of their products. And from our newly obtained knowledge from earlier, this beta ectosterone may have tested as tricasterone in whatever testing is used in the supplement industry to sell on Amazon and stuff. After the results and explanations, this post goes on further with the results of Gorilla Mind Sigma and even more that I don't understand. I don't have the knowledge or jurisdiction to weigh in on these things uh, or pretty much the entire post. I just compiled what I could kind of understand. After all that information, it's important for me to say that one, all of the content on my YouTube channel has been basically promotion for tricasterone. Um, in, in reality, it's just my results on using tricasterone. And some people have told me that my videos alone are the reason why they've bought a tricasterone product. And I've also been told that it seems that tricasterone is making no difference in my use, so they're not gonna buy it. And that's the whole point of my content. So me, myself, I'm a huge consumer of tricasterone. I've spent about $600 on Turk Builder, um, I think a little bit more, and I've spent about $550 on Gorilla Mine Tricasterone. Um, and, and I bought those one because if, if it does make a change in my physique or my strength, and that's a big deal for me, I have the um, extra income or money to spend on these products. And then also I wanted to make a YouTube series about it because I thought it was extremely interesting. Um, and then these guys, I actually did not spend the money on their Tricasterone product. They were kind enough to reach out to me and offer some free product to try out uh, with no strings attached, meaning I'm not going to be paid to use it. I'm not going to be paid to promote it. I can do whatever I want. I can even use it in the background and not talk about it. They were just like, hey, we'll send you some to try out. You do whatever you want with it and that's it. And I was like, great. Thank you. <laughs> and actually, I was not going to take Black Forest offer to use their product unless they could provide their own testing, which they did. They provided the COA, um, proving that they have some sort of legitimacy to their product. And that was enough for me to be like, okay, I feel comfortable using your product and potentially promoting it because I think that using it is a form of promoting a product. I don't mean to throw them under the bus, but I'm going to use them as an example. So if you look at the label of this product, it says that this is 500 milligrams of tricasterone or 526 milligrams of a 95% standardized tricasterone extract. And uh, using the knowledge which we uh, obtained from this post from Nootropics Depot, the conventional testing method possibly used for Black Forest's COA may have confused tricasterone for beta ectosterone. And there are beta ectosterone extracts on the market which are 98% standardized, meaning if there is 500 milligrams of beta ectosterone in, this, in a pill with a 98% standardized extract, then almost all of it is actually beta ectosterone. And this is because beta ectosterone has been on the market for so long, it's probably easier to get a hold of and cheaper to produce. Um, so I'm sure that none of these company companies are purposely uh, like not selling a legitimate product or this new Tropics Depot post is potentially a bunch of baloney. Um, I'm not trying to say it goes either way. I'm just trying to put this video out because one, it's information that I should talk about 
when I'm like constantly testing these experimental products and staying skeptical of any products is definitely a good thing because at the end of the day, we're all just people um, who are consuming products and just <laughs> like giving money for something that we believe in. So do what you want with this information. I'm just putting out there that I guess, according to this post, I'm not affiliated with Nootropics Depot. It's just a post um, that I thought was interesting and important. Apparently, some of the tergesterone products on the market that we know and love may not be legitimate, according to their in-house testing. Um, and apparently, a lot of the tergesterone products on the market that we know and love may actually be beta ectosterone. So maybe we're just buying beta ectosterone, but on the bright side, in my opinion, I really don't think that they're scamming us on purpose. This post does talk about it. Nootropics Depot says that there's a lot of like Chinese suppliers that ap approach them offering to sell them dracesterone. Um, and apparently they are not able to verify it with testing. And then the suppliers eventually like fold and say that they don't think it's real either. And Nootropics Depot uh, being in the market for so long claims that if Chinese suppliers are not able to provide you with something, then it's something that probably does not exist because the Chinese suppliers can get their hands on anything as long as you have money. Um, I can definitely see where if New Tropics Depot responded to these sellers saying, hey, we'll give you a $50,000 order, as in we'll buy $50,000 worth of product from you as long as you can verify that it's legitimate just through one test. I'm sure that if any Chinese supplier could pass that test, they would because they just want the money and that's it. So for the future of my channel, I'm going to continue using uh, these products because honestly, they're products that I believe in and products that I think I've had results from. And then plus, uh, while I have the product and I spent my money on, on this product, I'm going to keep using it. And then if... <laughs> If these guys are sending me product for free and it actually does end up being beta ectosterone, I don't think that they did it on purpose. And beta ectosterone works in, in the first place. There is actually human trials on beta ectosterone. So take it how you will. Stay skeptical. And I'll see you another day. Juice.